Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and welcome to another episode of Mario Golf Advanced Tour. Now, uh, I do apologize for last episode. It was way too exposition heavy. At least I got a lot of the information out of the way. I know I went a little fast, so don't worry if you didn't really follow along. I will be explaining things again anyway. So once you start the game a second time, you, get, you go right to the screen. So we're going to just jump right into the story, because we want to get to actual golfing. So you head to the club lodge, and you are here, you wake up, and it's another nice day. Time for our first day of golf. But first we have to go to the train. Because that's what I want to do today. I want to go to the training of Marion. Each course has its own training section, as I mentioned. And you get stuff, uh, you get experience for doing things good there. Um, so it's always good to stop there first and just get a little bit of grinding in. Um, alright, so you can ask, well, when you talk to her, you can go for singles, you can ask her to do doubles, so she'll follow you and you can do some doubles stuff. Uh, you can save, which I showed last time. You can also talk. Um, so if you talk to her, you can basically just she'll ask you, uh, she'll analyze her stats and just kind of tell you how good a golfer you are. Uh, nothing too important. Hey, it's the douchebag buddies. Yo, what's up? Yeah, you're kind of lame. Hey, why are you staring at the pond? Alright, so she is determined to win the Lynx. The Lynx is actually the highest normal tourney, if you want to call it that. Um, there's one last thing I want to show in the clubhouse that I missed the last time. It's over here, actually. In here is a trophy hall. Now, each course has its own trophy. Uh, M is for Marion. The other three are different other ones. Uh, this over here is a special one, which uh, it's kind of like the hidden course, I suppose. So we'll get to that later. But the Marion, um, basically, what you want to do here is... If you look, uh, there's actually a scorecard poster here. This is the best scorecard that they have. Um, you want to beat that score in the tourneys. In order, if you can do that in all five of them, you actually unlock something pretty deep. Uh, you'll unlock a secret, I guess. So we want to beat minus 13. I think, um, given some stuff and given the experience I'm going to get now and some other stuff, I think I can do that. So we're going to hope to do that. It's going to be my goal is to get that my first try. If not, I'll just do it my own time. So minus 13 is the score to beat, but we're going to be doing that tournament next time because, like I said for now, we're going to do some practicing. We're going to learn how to play golf first. We're going to head over here and we're going to learn how to take tee shots. Yes, I want to learn how to play smart in your tee shot class. Unfortunately, this is getting a bit a little text heavy, but this will give me a chance to explain while he explains as well. Um, yeah, so tee shots are important, obviously. They're the first shot you take on a hole if you haven't played golf. Um, you usually use the woods to get uh, some good distance and get in a good position to take a second shot to get to the green, usually, because most courses are par four. Which means you need to take four shots to get in a hole to get zero. Um, if you get, the less you get, minus. And if you get more, you get plus, obviously, and you want to have the lowest score, so minuses are good. I am really bad at explaining golf. Alright, just get, show us the course. Alright, so here's your typical, I guess, course you have. Uh, the lighter green there, if the stripes is the fairway, you want to be hitting there because that will let you get a normal shot. Otherwise, you'll take penalties to your shot. You know, the, the darker green areas are, heaven forbid, one of those, you know, patches of green there, which I don't think are actually in normal golf courses. Uh, or trees. Just avoid the trees, they will screw up your shot, obviously. And the water, for that matter. Um, mounds and oh, those darker green patches, by the way, are fast fairway. Those aren't really present in the first course, so I'm not going to explain them now. Don't worry about them. Alright, so he's basically saying you want to, like, you know, hit a safe shot in the fairway and, you know, analyze your obstacles. Simple as that. He's going to give us a practice shot. So as you can see, uh, here's the normal golfing screen. Uh, what you can do is you press B to access your power shots or switch to a normal shot. Power shots I will explain in the tournament. Um, they are more powerful, but they can be limited if you can't do if you don't do perfect shots. Um, you can press up and down to switch clubs, which will obviously change the distance. Um, you can press R and L to also change uh, how far your indicator is pointing for like where your shot's going to be. I'll show that in a little bit too. And then, well, the basic swing, I'll explain that when I take a shot here. So now it's my turn to do that. Uh, yes, I want to try. Alright, so as you can see, we don't have nearly as much distance yet, but that's okay, that'll change soon. Uh, so you want a one wood. Uh, left and right obviously changes your, where you're aiming. Uh, so B is a power shot. You can also hold in B and uh, see the little thing on the right. Uh, uh, you can kind of change how you hit the ball. This is mostly to get around obstacles, though. Normally you just want to hit in the center because you also have to press that direction while you make the shot, which is really annoying. As I said before, L and R just shows like how far you're hitting. So if you want to hit a shorter shot for club, then you use that to determine where how far you should go along the meter. Okay, so you press uh, A to get ready for a shot, and then you press A to start the shot. Um, now, there's two ways to do this. One is you can press A to do an auto swing, which is what I'm going to do now. 
and that'll automatically do the second part of the meter. So all you have to worry about then is the distance, just a one-touch thing. However, that's not normally the best way, and actually, see, it screwed me up there. Whoops. Way to go! Ugh, auto-swing, you suck! Goodness, alright, anyway. So, now you, uh, he's gonna give us a task here, which is going to be... Come on. Don't ex I can't- I know there's the spots. So they want us to hit 8 out of 10 of these spots. Um, we should hit here because we're not as good. Um, also the wind upper right hand corner, that does affect your shot a little bit, so keep that in mind. Um, so, as you can see, that screwed me up a bit. Which is okay, all you, do, all you get is like 20 experience if you do it right the first time, so it's not a big deal. Um, but we'll go ahead and do this now. So, the other shot you can do, which is, I hate auto swing, if you press B instead of A there, you'll go to a manual shot where It'll bring you back down, and then you can also put spin or and basically manually do your shot. Now I like, to, as you can see, I did a super backspin shot. Um, if you press, you can, it's like you can basically do a two button combination to put spin on the ball as well. If you press AA, you'll do top spin. AB is super top spin, which will like kick the ball forward even more. And then the backspin slow it down. So BA is super backspin, and BB is regular backspin. Um, so here, obviously, since we're hitting right in there, it's actually a good idea just to put some backspin on the ball, which is why the ball rolled out in the first place. Um, backspin and topspin are very important. Normally, I usually put topspin on the ball in order to get a certain distance, but as you can see, we can just easily crank these out now, so I'm just going to focus and get these done. I mean, I like backspin, though, when you're trying to make controlled shots, because it really slows the ball down. It really helps you make controlled shots. So backspin actually is a very key part in this game. Um, I've played Toadstool Tour. I don't feel like it's nearly as much of a uh, factor in Toadstool Tour as it is in here. Backspin, I just find to be very, very helpful, and that's going to hit the mound. Not that it matters. So, Zuki, this is, this is very basic. Uh, the other training grounds will have much harder challenges later in the game. Uh, but for now, just very basic stuff. We can just easily power through this and get some free experience. I know, this isn't the most exciting thing, guys. Honestly, I don't even know if this is going to be the most exciting LP, because a golf game is bad enough. A story-based golf game? I don't know. But I do love this game. That might not make it. Okay, it's going to make it, yeah. Super backspin for the win. I hope um, I'm explaining things well. If people are confused, leave a comment. I will be happy to explain that accuracy sucked. And it's still good, though. Like I said, this challenge is really easy. I am 7 for 7. Lucky 7. Actually, I can probably make this with just a normal... I should just... I shouldn't even bother bother with power shot. That's what screwed me up. Because, like, I can probably make it... Eh. Yeah. It'll even make it just a normal club. Usually I don't account for roll that much, which is kind of my problem. Auto swing. Me and you have already gotten off to a bad start. As you can see, though, now I have 9 out of 9 here, because this is definitely going to go in, so challenge pretty much already beaten, because you only need, what, 8 out of 10, I think I said? 7 out of 10? I don't know, who cares? Boom, boom, we're done. So that is one out of the uh, four practice things we- oh, well, there's actually five things you can do in this thing. So, there we go. Complete! And here we go, first experience of the game, you get 60 points, so it's actually going to get us two whole levels. I'm going to pop them all into Neil here. I keep calling him Neil. We're gonna pop him all into Lucky. It really feels weird saying my own name. And okay, so as like I said before, I went through all these stats last time. If you need to see what they are, I explained them decently well in the last episode. Um, you can pump Impact and Control up at the same time. But as you can see, you can either increase your stats, which also, if you notice, uh, on Impact and Control, they're actually going down as well. So every level, your stats will also change. So you have to continually put them into these stats to get them, keep them at an acceptable level. However, since everything's pretty good right now, we can just focus it on Drive. Um, we can actually put it on drive twice. So now we're going to be able to hit an extra 5 yards. You also unlock these things. I'm not entirely sure what these do. I think they unlock star courses, um, all, all the courses in the game. They unlock, like, holes you can practice in the, the uh, advanced versions of them. I'm going to be explaining that after the story mode. This is madness! This is Mario Golf! You don't say. Alright, we are a legend. We have just impressed them all. They are all... peeing their pants right now at how awesome we are. But that's okay, let's go make some other people pee their pants. That does not sound right. Alright, so now that we've mastered the first shot, let's master the second shot. So here we go, we're gonna learn some, how to do an iron shot. Now, usually when you have a second shot, you have to go from a fairway, or, or a rough, or even worse. And I try to make it under the green, usually. 
so this is where you have to be a bit more precise with your shots. Luckily, when you have less distance to worry about, the shots are a bit easier to be more precision, more precise. I don't know. I'm not even listening to what they're talking to. I got in trouble last time. I got in trouble with campus security in this game. That's hilarious. I, d I completely forgot that happens. Oops. I don't think that affects anything. I hope it doesn't affect anything. If it does, who cares? We're a rebel. Alright, so we're going to want to aim it here. Um, the greens, as you can see, uh, those arrows indicate how the greens slope. Um, that's going to be especially important in putting, but it also does play a factor in trying to get onto the green. Um... So once again, you can use, you know, it's the same basic controls as before. However, club choice is more important here, because now you're not going for just distance. Now you want, you know, the right club length to really get on the green. Uh, the way I do this, just like uh, before, is heavily impacted by backspin. You'll see how I like to do these kind of shots soon. Man, that was a really nice shot. I normally do not like to hit these without backspin, because I like to be able to... I just don't like the way it bounces when you don't use backspin. It has it, it's a lot harder to control, so I like using backspin these shots. Um, so I'm gonna probably use a five iron actually. Let me use my five iron. Stop it! Stop it! Stop talking! Stop talking! Stop talking! Stop talking! Stop talking! Alright, we're gonna use a five iron. I'm gonna put some backspin on it. Simple as that. Ooh, that might not be enough now because I undershot that by a lot. Come on, make it, 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 make it. Oh, that was close. Yay, and we get a little, a little tiny bit of insignificant experience. Oh, I feel bad for Ella. Let's level her up. You can have a, you can get to level 2. We'll be nice. As you can see, her stats are generally worse. Uh, she's going to get lower on these, and she's also going to get a fade. Um, but really, oh, she's good now, so more drive. We're going to give her more drive. Ha ha ha, sex joke. Anyway. Golf is all one big sex joke. No, okay, not really. I suppose it could be. Anyway, same thing as before. We have to hit 7 out of 10 shots in the zone. Yeah, so usually uh, the way things are going to work here is it's going to be sort of 5 episodes per uh, level, I guess. Or, or per, um, not level, but per like golf course, I suppose, because there's the four main golf, golf courses here. Um, there's going to be one for, to do the practice stuff. Um, one to do the singles tourney, one to do the doubles tourney, and then one to do the two challenges, or two for the two challenges, they can do singles and doubles. Um, there's also going to be videos, though, where there's more you can do here than just play uh, these golf tournaments. There are other things you can do around the uh, little golfing world here, so those will be just randomly intermittent in, into these into videos, so I'm not always doing the same golf course every video for, like, you know, each section. Although, if people get bored and they want me to sort of mix things up more, let me know if it's intolerable to when I start doing these courses. I'm going to do Mary in the way I said, and if that's not good... Oh, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh. So you can see it zooms in when you get close. I want to sink one of these. We're going to sink one of these. That's my new goal. Um, that's probably not going to work, because that power sucked. Yeah, that's not going to I should have just let it go. Failure! Oh well. Uh, right, no, no, it's fine like this. Ooh, that accuracy level I was off to. The accuracy, as you can see, does decrease your distance as well, so you have to be careful. Ooh, 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 ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Man, that was, that was really close. That was sexy. Yes, I just called a golf shot sexy. If you have a problem with that, I'm sorry, but golf shots are sexy. This is clearly a very sexy game. I mean, you heard that Ella got more drive, you know? <laughs> Therefore, it must be a sexy game. This is the kind of stuff I'm going to have to talk about this entire LP because, I mean, yeah, golf isn't exciting when you're doing the, just the practice stuff. This is kind of the boring stuff you have to get out of the way just to get to the good stuff. Um, but I mean, they are challenges, they are probably the games, so I do feel like I should show them off. Is this the last shot? No, we have one more. Alright, let's just make this one awesome somehow. Um, we're going to do a power shot right towards the hole there. Boom! Perfect. Straight towards the hole. No win. This is going to hit the pin. Watch. It's going to hit the pin. Oh, no. I missed the pin. Backspin, backspin, backspin. Thank you. As you can see, super backspin really kicks the ball back, which is really handy. Complete! Alright, we don't get as much experience because we didn't get it perfect, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to level up Neil some more because the higher we can get him, the better off we'll be. So take a level, buddy. Um, okay, this I don't want to get higher than 5, but... um. Uh, 
I'm going to let this go down once. I don't want uh, the height or the shot to get higher than 5. And I don't want the impact to go below 0. So those are my two stipulations. Spin? I'm going to let spin go because I don't. I like my spins weak anyway, so that works. And then whenever I don't have any time, whenever I don't need to worry about height, shot, or impact and control, uh, I will just put them into drive. That's my sort of way I do things here. And I don't care about this. Come on. So there we go. We have two out of the four of the five things here. I keep saying four, but there's actually a fifth one that you can kind of find. And uh, I hate how that much exposition they have. Come on, it's a golfing game. You can also just practice anywhere you want. Like if you just press A, you can practice anywhere near these sort of things here. And any of the any of the fairway parts, I think you can do it on.